Welcome back to San Antonio Living. We have got the perfect gift for cheese lovers. The Texas Cheese Trail is the first book on Texas cheeses, their makers, and their creameries. And joining us this morning to tell us more, Rachel and Bob Pineda. They are the owners of Otto's Cheese Shop, which is in New Braunfels. It's good to see you guys. Good to see nice you. Nice to see you. Oh my gosh, we were talking about this earlier. Like I have never met a cheese that I did not like. And I'm excited to learn about Texas cheese. Okay. Absolutely. So this is the first and only book on Texas cheeses. It's all about highlighting and showcasing the great makers that are here in the state so okay. that more Texans are aware that they don't have to go to other states or even overseas. You can get some really good products here made with local Texans. I love that. Okay, the Texas cheese trail. I mean, it's a trail that I'm going to get on, basically. <laughs> yeah. Where will it take me? It takes you all the way from, like, we've got makers up in Dallas, the Hill Country, and then all the way down to Sandia, Texas, near the Gulf Coast. Okay. Well, I mean, what is the difference between the cheeses here and there? Is it the cows? Is it the pastures? Like, what makes the change? So we got um, a little bit of every animal here in Texas. We have cow, sheep, goat, and even water buffalo cheeses being okay. made here. Um, I think the thing that makes it unique is um, all the makers brought their influence in and made their own styles of European styled cheeses made here in Texas. Okay, I'm just kind of looking through the book and there's a lot of different cheeses in here. Look at this, we've got seasoned feta that obviously comes from a special ranch somewhere, yeah, right? Yeah, that one's in Blanco, Texas. EKC Very cool. Farms, and it's delicious feta. Okay. And one of the reasons we did this project was because we had so many people come into our shop mm -hmm. and they're just familiar with cheeses that, you know, that you can get in the grocery store. And a lot of folks were just not aware of that all the makers that are here in the state and so we really wanted to just create this you know one source stop for uh, people who want to learn all about the great makers and the amazing products that they're making okay what goes into making cheese because i mean i see people whittling up their own cheese here yeah. and there it, it looks hard yeah um it's not <laughs> you should probably yeah. just buy it right it's not for the faint of heart nope. it's definitely hard work to make cheese um oh you know luckily though all cheese is made with the four same four ingredients, okay. milk, culture, salt, and rennet. Um, but you get something different out of all of them based on the animal, where they're feeding, where it's been aged, okay. anything that's been added to it to give it flavor. And so that was, unique stuff. I was gonna say that's something that we noticed during you know the research and go on behind this book and the film was that it's not easy. And they're up there you know, milking sometimes two days, early in the morning, late at night, and then having to make cheese at all times of the day too. So. It's a really hard work, but it they make some amazing work, stuff. But I love that you're highlighting the various makers and artisans and ranchers here in Texas specifically because, I mean, we are almost like our own little country. We make a lot of great things in Texas. You guys brought in a couple of different cheeses this morning. Do you have a favorite that you love? Oh, it's hard to pick a favorite. I know, right? um, we picked some that, you know, we thought would um, y'all would enjoy. Mm -hmm. So we have um, a goat's milk here. Okay. It's June's Joy from Pure Luck. Um, this is called Heisenkoss and it's a Gouda style from Veldheisen. Okay. Um, Eldo here is from Harrow Cheese and it's his t uh, take on a Manchego style but with cow's milk. Oh. And then this one is an Italian style like a young Asiago called Latteria from Lira Rosa in Moulton, Texas. And okay. then the last one is Way Blue and it's made just up the road in Shirts, Texas and it's their take on a Texan blue. So cool. Okay, I know Manchego cheese, that sounds familiar. Yeah. So I'm going to give this a little, and it's made with Cow's milk it's made instead with of? Um, Manchego's typically sheep's milk from Spain, Ooh. so yeah. So it's softer. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. softer, it's creamy, um, and it's oh, raw so cow's good. milk, so you get a lot more flavor in there. Yum. And he puts this beautiful vegetable ash, you know, rind, so it really looks great on a board, and just adds something a little bit different. We like to say, you know, all these cheeses have European, you know, influence mm -hmm. from where these guys' families' background came from but then they kind of put their own Texas twist on it. So it makes it just, you know, all that more special. So cool, I love it. So pick up some cheese for the cheese lover in your life, grab the book. Can we get the book at the shop? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, and perfect. online at autoscheeseshop.com. Nice, <laughs> it's a great gift idea for anybody who wants to know a little bit more about Texas cheeses and of course for cheese lovers. Thank you guys for coming Thank in you. this morning. It is Otto's Cheese Shop. They're on Landis Street in New Braunfels. Take a look at your screen. All the information is there, 830-387. 4495. You can also go online to autoscheeseshop.com for more details.